Mary Barra heads GM, Marissa Mai is Yahoo CEO, and we may even see a female president in the near future. But when can we expect a woman CEO on Wall Street? Not anytime soon, says Market Watch's Satal Patel, and she joins us now to explain. Hi, sir. You're going to do some explaining. Um, so this is this is um, this is a perennial problem on Wall Street. Uh, the you know like lack of women. What's what's the big issue? Well, the big issue is just like having women in, getting women the right experience so they can get, actually get into these leadership roles. Um, and, you know, a lot of these firms are seeing that women are just leaving in droves when they start having children. And that's also because they, a lot of women leave the, leave the firm uh, because they don't feel like they're supported by the firm to, to come back juggle their kids and work full time in these very, you know, intense, uh, demanding jobs. And, and part of it is that the, the pipeline, um, most, most companies have, have a pipeline of potential uh, leaders, potential divisional presidents, and the divisional presidents then become, one of them becomes mm -hmm. the, Exa the, the CEO. Yeah. And that pipeline is pretty weak on Wall Street, right? Absolutely. A lot of these firms, you know, I looked at each, for each of the major uh, firm banks, and I looked at their management committee, their executive committees, and very few, I mean, very few have women. I mean, they all have a woman, but very few have a lot of women. You and, know? You, and, you, and you can't you can't guarantee any one person is going to get that it's, job. It's going to so, you know replace the CEO at some point. You, exactly. you had some 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 names in this of some some very prominent women on on Wall Street. The mm -hmm. one one that stood out to me with the Blythe Masters so spent 27 years at um, there she is um, 27 years at J P Morgan. She started right. as an intern, um, and there are others: Beth Mooney, Joyce Chang, um, right. and, and there are some more. Right. Let's focus on Blythe because it is interesting that she was in the commodities unit. She headed the commodities unit and mm -hmm. just stepped down after 27 years there. Right. Half of that period was when commodities was a backwater. <laughs> and yeah. I can't help but feel that that might have been, and I know because I worked in the commodities industry, it, that, that might have been part of it. It was really unfashionable. The bank sort of like, oh, whatever, you know, it's the commodities unit, don't worry. Yeah. And then suddenly around the year 2000, it took off and mm -hmm. she had that necessary experience within this unit and it's, it's a very difficult area to manage. Right, exactly. And th that's the key, right? Getting that experience. You know, someone said, to me, men on Wall Street are, you know, um, are promoted based on their potential, and women are promoted based on their experience. And what a lot of women said to me that work on Wall Street is that it's getting that key experience. Like women need to get that profit and loss experience, that revenue generating experience, to be able to be moved up to these leadership roles. And, and just getting in those positions and, is really difficult. And, it, and it's really interesting because I mean, that, that year-end discussion about about bonuses is, is primarily based on how much money did you make. It is a profit and loss, loss discussion, and when, when it comes to bonuses, it's like, hey, I made you mm -hmm. know X yeah. gazillion dollars for the firm my group needs this I need this exactly. and if you don't have the P&L you can't be an administrator in an investment bank really right exactly and the other thing too I mean the other issue is that women don't actually ask for a raise men you know are much more aggressive and ask for a raise and say they expect to make X amount women are, don't you know are much more worried about you know not hurting the relationship to actually overstep you know because they don't want to overstep what they want to ask so that's also that you know there's a lot of cultural things that are prevalent you know with these types of issues there's also the someone told me the grass ceiling where a lot of men play golf a lot of conversations happen you know on the golf course and most women don't play golf and well, that's a change that needs to happen on Wall Street okay either either not nobody plays golf or the women need to play golf thank you very much Satal Patel <laughs> of Market Watch